returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on the five best sunscreens in my collection. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I have a total of five sunscreens. So this video is going to be really quick. And I wanted to pick out some sunscreens that had two major things that, you know, I really like. One being they don't have that white cast that we all hate. And number two, they're gonna help you with anti-aging. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm really big on anything anti-aging sunscreen, makeup, uh, particularly foundation. If you're going to pick a foundation, pick one that has some type of skin loving ingredients. They're going to help you over time. So I'm going to talk about these five. I'm going to give you a quick rundown and I'll probably have some other important things about the sunscreen floating around on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and start in not in any particular order. So the first one that I have is by Dr. Dennis Gross. This is it right here. And this is relatively new. This is their all physical lightweight wrinkle defense broad spectrum sunscreen of an SPF 30. It also claims to be reef safe, which is um, important and it's oil free. So with this particular sunscreen, as you all know, you're supposed to apply it 15 minutes before you actually go out into the sun. It also claims to make a great primer. And again, this one doesn't have that white cast that most people hate. Another thing that I like about this one is that it has a lot of anti-aging skincare in it. They do say that this works as a good primer to wear under your makeup. And again, I've worn it under my makeup and there's absolutely no white cap. It also protects from UVA and UVB rays as well as any blue light that's going to be emitted from your phones and your computers. So yeah this is one that I really love and definitely worth checking out. All right, so the next one that I have is by Biosense, and I know you all are probably tired of me talking about this one, but I just have to because I really love it that much. This is a plant, it does have squalene in it, which is a plant-derived squalene. It also has zinc in it, and it's just a sheer mineral sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF 30, and it also protects from UVA and UVB rays. So again, this is another sunscreen that's not gonna give you that white cast that we all hate, we, we all hate it. But the reason that I love this so much is because yes it is a sunscreen it's got all that good stuff in it but it is very moisturizing to the skin and it's going to keep you hydrated all through the day not greasy but hydrated you don't need a lot of it and I really love using this one under my makeup but because I found that it plays well with all of the foundation types in my collection it plays well with matte foundations natural looking foundations and even hydrating foundations again you don't need a lot of it and I do like the fact that it has squalene in it and as you all know that's another anti-aging ingredient that's really going to help your skin stay plump and youthful looking so if you haven't tried this one I would definitely say to check it out all right so the next one that I have is by Dr. Denise um, and this is the defense day cream SPF of 30 it does have a broad spectrum and it's going to protect you from UVA and UVB rays all right so again this is another one that's not going to give you that white cast. Uh, one thing that I really like about this one is that it does have a matte finish um, that may be important for some of you all out there. And this is a zinc oxide based physical sunscreen. So I guess you could call it a tinted moisturizer slash sunscreen. Um, it is tinted. So when you put it on your skin, um, it does have color to it and you rub it in. It is self adjusting to your skin tone color. So as you can see now, I have it on my skin and it's pretty much adjusted to my skin color. And of course, with that being said, this only comes in one shade. The fact that it dries down matte really helps if you're going to pair this with any makeup that you're wearing. And with this one, you do need to apply it 30 minutes before you go out into the sun. It's not like the other one where the other one by, what is it, Dr. Dennis Frost, that one you apply 15 minutes before you go out in the sun. This one, you need to apply it 30 minutes uh, for it to have the protection that you need. So yeah, this is a good sunscreen to have. And I think this one will probably work really well with anybody who has oily skin. All right, so the next one that I have is a sunscreen. And this is by Unsun. This is a mineral tinted face sunscreen. It has a broad spectrum of SPF 30. And this is it right here. This is another one that is tinted. And this particular one comes in one shade. And here it is, I have it applied and as you can see, it is tinted. I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in for you. And there it is, all rubbed in. This particular sunscreen also plays well with a lot of foundations. Again, if you're going to wear a matte, uh, a natural, a dewy, 
foundation. I found that it really plays well with all of those types of foundation. Another thing that I also wanted to note about uh, this sunscreen, and it's not really the sunscreen, it's the company. When you get this sunscreen, the way that they have it packaged is so cute. It comes in like a box and inside the box, it has this yellow crinkled paper in it. And I just found it to be really cute and aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Again, that has nothing to do with how well the sunscreen um, is going to work for you, but I just thought I would make a note of that. All right, so the last one that I have is by Neutrogena, and this is their Age Shield Face Oil Free Lotion. Um, this has a broad spectrum of SPF 110. It has a Helioplex BART spectrum, which is protection against UVA and UVB rays, and it also has superior anti-aging protection, and it's water resistance of up to 80 minutes. So after that 80 minutes, you do need to go ahead and reapply. So this is a chemical sunscreen, and for me, it doesn't provide a white cast. However, um, I typically, uh, if I'm going to use this particular sunscreen under a foundation, I will pair it with a foundation that is a little bit deeper than my skin tone. And then I will kind of adjust that with highlighting with a lighter concealer. Um, as I said before, it is 110 broad spectrum. Now, when you see that, don't necessarily think that, oh, it's going to provide a lot more um, protection than any other sunscreen. This one only provides maybe uh, a more sun protection by maybe 2%, so it's not that much. So I think that when it says that SPF 110, it's kind of playing on words a little bit, although, you know, it is real, 110, but it kind of leads you to believe, oh wow, that has a bar spectrum of 110. So anyway, I just thought I would make a note of that just in case you ever see it. So this one does have a scent. I thought I would um, tell you all that it is a chemical sunscreen. Now I know that some people um, can't use them. Some people prefer other types of sunscreens, uh, but I thought I would make a note of that. I typically don't wear this under my makeup, although I will. I just straight use this when I'm going to be out in the sun or out swimming. So yeah, this is coming in at one of the best sunscreens in my collection. So that's it, short and sweet. Those are the best sunscreens that I have in my collection that don't give the white cast and is going to provide you with some type of anti-aging benefit, which is good to have at any age. So let me know down in the comments what sunscreens you've been loving that have any type of anti-aging ingredients uh, that's not going to give you that weird white cast that we all hate. Let me know, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.